Hey guys and welcome back to G's Autos and welcome to my very first episode for 2020. So I think, I think it's a pretty good episode I'm starting off the year with. Uh, I have finally gotten around to uh, painting Nigel's engine, the 4AGE. I think it's come up pretty good. Um, it's, look, it's not picture perfect, but hey, this is the first time I've, I've actually done something like this. So overall, it's pretty good. Um, with the imperfections, once everything's bolted up to it, all the accessories and so forth, I don't think you're really going to notice uh, the, the concerns that I have. Um, I hope you like the colour. Uh, it's always a hard thing when you're choosing colours for cars or car parts or engines and so forth, whether people are going to like it or not. But um, when you see it, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below whether you like it or not. Uh, happy to um, see any of your comments and your feedback. Anyway guys, enough out of me. Uh, let's get into the video and I hope you like it. And before we do that, um, you'll see where I've painted the engine. Uh, and I've kind of just painted over the, uh, the timing belt and oil pump and stuff like that. Don't worry about that. All that stuff is coming off. It's going to get a clean or it's going to be replaced. I know it looks a bit scruffy at the moment. But um, I just needed to get this painting done first before I, I moved on to anything else. It was just, I just had to get it done. All right, guys, enough out of me, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Cheers. All right, I've spent probably the last hour um, working on the uh, sump. Now, I'll give you guys a look at what I've done. Anywhere there was any little rust spots, I've cleaned those up, um, just got them off. There's probably a couple of other little minor ones there, but I'm... I'm not too worried about it. Uh, so I went over and thanks to uh, Scott's advice, I was able to get off all this uh, gunk, um, the old silicon. I just wasn't too sure how hard I could go at this this pen, having not done it before. But um, yeah, all good. Turned out really nice. Um, I did go over it with a small wire brush to get in all these grooves, and then after that, I went along with a little um, like a little sanding drum on my uh, Dremel just to clean up this surface here and get any uh, crap off or any jagged edges and things like that. So what I'm going to do now is go over this with some hot soapy water, get out any gunk or any small metal filings that might be in there and give the outside a good clean up and then mask up and undercoat it. All right, let's start with mistakes. I've had to sand back uh, a few spots on here. I didn't realize there was some junk under the paint, celastic and other bits and pieces. And as a result of finding that, I've sanded this back and I will hit it with some more undercoat before painting it. And with the uh, this rocker cover here, you'll see that scuff mark there. I accidentally got some grease on there, so I've had to wipe that back with some uh, grease remover, which has taken the undercoat off. So I'll hit that again, and then we can start painting uh, all these pieces. And I've also been cleaning up and masking up the block, which I will show you guys shortly. All right, um, I've touched up these pieces. The new underlay is down. Underlay. Undercoat. little bit of something there on the paint not too worried about it I don't have a paint booth I don't have the best conditions to paint in or environment so it is what it is and um, I will continue on so now it's um, time to lay down paint and you guys will soon see what colors I have chosen all right guys as you can see I have gone through and started uh, well I've completed the masking of the block so I can now start going over it uh, with a wire wheel on the drill and start getting some of this surface rust and a little bit of extra gunk off. And then after that, I'll wipe it down with some prep sole and hit it with uh, a round of undercoat. So that's how it looks at the moment. So this is going to be a bit of one of those longer, tedious jobs. But um, once it's done, it's all worth it. It's all just the, the amount of preparation you need to put into this and the time it takes. So. Not going for show car status, but um, I just wanted to at least look half decent. So, all right. Here is one side all being cleaned down. It's not perfect, nowhere near perfect. 
However, look, I could spend another six hours, eight hours on this and, you know, it still just wouldn't be absolutely spot on. But it's going to be enough to get it undercoated and uh, ready for paint. So I'll spin it around and we'll have a look at the other side. Here is the hot side, the exhaust side. So look, it's, it's come up a lot cleaner than the inlet side. Uh, there's a couple little areas up here I still need to just fine tune before I throw some uh, undercoat on. But look, it's not too bad. It's not perfect. I just don't, I'm not just not going to spend any more time on it. So uh, what I'll do now is prep sole it and undercoat it and we'll take a look at it. All right, undercoat is on. I made a few mistakes. Uh, the rag I was using to wipe it down with the prep sole left some uh, fibers behind. As you can see, it's not. And I forgot these little holes down here in the block. So that's, yeah, anyway, it is what it is. So there's some little fibres from the cloth that are left on the block. But we'll have a look at the other side. Bit better light on this side, so just all up in here. There's some, some garbage. But overall not too bad. I'm going to hit it with some paint now and uh, see how this comes up. A little bit, few hair fibres in there, but look, I'm just going to paint over. I'm not worried about it. All right, let's paint. All right, guys, here it is, painted, done, beautiful. So there's a couple little spots I've probably missed, uh, just underneath different little edges and things like that. But overall. Uh, I think it's turned out pretty good as you saw from the undercoat there was I wasn't happy with a few sections but hopefully it's enough to keep it sticking we'll have a look at the other side the light isn't the best it's towards the end of the day and I'm in the shade uh, but there you go uh, let me know what you think of the color uh, whether you like it whether you hate it uh, or indifferent I don't mind uh, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you guys the sump and the rocker covers and show you what colours I've got going on all of that. So let's take a look. Here is the sump and the rocker covers. I just need to give the rocker covers a dust down. There's a little bit of dust on there from sitting in the garage today. But... Uh, that's how everything came up. A few imperfections here and there, but look, it's not a show car. It is what it is, and it will do the job. I think it'll come up all right. Um, look, once everything goes on, all the um, you know starter motor, alternator, all those bits and pieces, piping and whatnot, you're not going to notice any small imperfections. So there you go, guys. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think of the colours. Like I said, like them, hate them. I don't care. Let me know your feedback. That'd be great. Thanks, guys.